Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. My name is Melissa and today we are starting to grow our in-ground fall garden as well as harvesting from the current garden. <laughs> All right, so we've got this section of in-ground garden that um, we recently had picked from and pulled um, after the summer harvest. Uh, a lot of this stuff here was dying back um, and or we just harvested it. So today we are going to take advantage of this space. Um, I have Googled our first frost date, expected frost date in our area. Uh, we are Maryland zone 7A. Um, we qualify under Frederick County. So I just went on to Google and typed in uh, First Frost, Frederick County, Maryland, and we've got exactly 60 days as of today um, to start our fall crop. So I went through my seed collection and I pulled any of the seeds that have an expected um, harvest date of 60 days or less. So an example here is um, the summer squash, the zucchinis. Okay, if you turn it over on the back and then um, there's a little section here that says days to harvest, 50. So this is going to be a great um, crop to try for a fall garden. Now, not everything that you grow for your summer season is going to work for a fall garden. As I mentioned, um, we have a much grower, or much shorter growing season at this point. Um, so you do want to make sure that you're specifically finding stuff that will grow within that uh, time frame before your first frost. Now, on the flip side, um, this is the time to start cooler crops as well. So things like lettuce, any kind of like broccolis or cabbage. Um, kale this is great times to start all of that so um, those ones they can last through a light frost um, and you can continue to harvest even past that uh, frost date so we've got quite a few different things here um, I pulled them recently Tyler I've not actually gone through them yet so he doesn't even know what's in this basket um, but we're gonna try and come up with a game plan of what to plant in this space and try and get a second round of harvest out of it we've got squash, Brussels sprouts, these little uh, carrots that we got for free from Baker Creek, radishes. Now we're, we've picked what we want to grow, we're going to just kind of lay them out in the area that we want them uh, and then start planting. Alright, so I've got some lettuce here. We're going to grow back along this fence line along where my cucumbers used to be. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of sprinkle these in. I'm going to pull back some of the, some of the junk. And lettuce seeds are very, very tiny. So it's hard to really get a ton of control out of it. I'm not going to be too picky here. We've got plenty of seeds. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle lightly along and then cover them up. Now another benefit to doing it right now is we are expecting uh, quite a bit of rain this week. Um, so the weather is going to be hot and muggy. It's going to rain a lot. So this will be perfect um, opportunities for bug. Uh, perfect opportunity for these plants, uh, these seeds to germinate. So back here, we've got green beans, uh, green lettuce, purple lettuce. I'm gonna do spinach here. Uh, then we've got a few Brussels sprouts. Here are radishes. Back here, Tyler put some zucchinis. We're gonna give okra a shot. Snap peas, kale, and Swiss chard. What do you got down there? More Brussels sprouts. Yay! Would you check out these noodle beans? So cool. These are so fun. I absolutely love 
noodle beans. These we will 100% grow every year. Quick update on the loofahs. Definitely did better on loofahs this year than we did last year, hands down. I know I shouldn't really be saying that quite yet because we still need them to dry out before it frosts. <laughs> Got some kurabi, tomatoes, squash and beans, and peppers. This has become an everyday event as well, which I am not complaining. That one looks a little rough. Not complaining at all. I think the banana peppers are about reaching their peak. But I'm okay with it because I actually just did a whole jar full of um, banana peppers for the refrigerator, so we are good. We're gonna go ahead and take this too for right now because this plant needs to come out. No more squash bugs. Okay, last but not least, baby update. Look how big they are. And look, we have cucamelons. I do love them. We're not growing a ton of them this year because quite frankly, we had too many last year. We ended up pickling some of them and not eating them because like they're really not that great as pickles. But so we've just got like one or two plants going and that'll be plenty for us. There we go. Today's harvest. All right, so this was a shorter video. Um, we've spent the majority of the weekend canning. Um, I had purchased uh, quite a bit. I think it was like something around 50 pounds of tomatoes from a local farmer um, because we probably won't get nearly that much uh, this year. Um, so, you know, even when you can't grow, that's okay. You can still make sure you, you know, buy local and support a local farmer. And usually they'll be more than happy to give you discounts on big, bulk purchases. Um, what I had asked for specifically was uh, canning tomatoes. So usually the canning tomatoes are not quite as pretty as the ones that they set out to sell. Um, so they usually will do a really good discount for you on those. Um, so shout out to my local farmers. Um, so today's video is pretty short. I just wanted to make sure that we filmed this and got this to you guys because I think that there's so many people that have this misconception that like doing this stuff is time consuming. It, it doesn't have to be. Um, and that's what's kind of nice about the fall garden is that it's toned down quite a bit over your summer garden. Um, it's usually not nearly as uh, big. A lot of times, you know, the heat starts to die down, the bugs start to die off, so it's not quite as much maintenance. Um, and it's totally worth just trying. Uh, worst case scenario, you know, nothing germinates, but that's still, you know, it's still worth giving it a shot and seeing what you can come up with. Um, so right now that was what was available. That was the space we had available. So we are giving it a shot and so we will be sure to keep you guys posted. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. And we look forward to sharing more with you soon. <laughs>